So what? You're gonna give our baby up for adoption? There's no other way. No, wait a minute, Jess. You can't come in and just decide that for us. Okay? It's my baby, too. Right, but I'm the one that's carrying it. And I'm sorry, but I think it seems a lot more real to me. All right, why don't you just come in and sit down and we'll talk about it, okay? All right, look, bottom line is we both want what's best for this baby, right? For it to have a good life. Right, but I don't think you seem to understand, Well, we cannot give this baby a good life. But there's people out there that can, that really want to. I mean, I saw this couple in church and they were praying for a baby. So? So what, you want to just hand over ours? Just listen. They're the type of people that deserve to have a baby. I mean, they had everything a baby needs. They were together and they were really, really in love. How can you tell? I just, I could. <laughs> they, you could see the love they had for each other and for the baby that they wanted. I mean, they were grown-ups. So are we. Will, just because I turned 18 doesn't mean I'm suddenly old and wise. Yeah, well, how many parents really are? I don't think you seem to understand how hard it is to have a child. Will, I think about all the things I've been putting my mom through, but she's been nothing but wonderful. Caring and loving and backing off when she knows I need it. Do you think you're just born knowing how to do that? No, you know, it, it's instinct. Right, to some people maybe, but... It's also experience and unselfishness, things that I don't have yet, and neither do you. So, so then we'll grow with the kid. I don't want to learn on my baby. I want to be ready. And I'm not, and neither are you. We can't give this baby enough. You're wrong, Jess. We can give this baby a lot more than you think. Lisa, would you process Ms. Graham? I'll take her statement myself. Oh, can we please take off? The cuffs can come off now. Yes, sir. Over here. Look, Bo, the senator's lawyer, he's pitching a fit about getting him out of jail. But I don't want him arraigned until we hear what Barbara has to say. I want to hear that too, Hank. Listen, buddy, I, um, I know this may not help, huh? But I plan on throwing the book at her. Do that. Yeah. I'm okay. It's better. No, it's all over. It's not over till the judge says it's over. I wish you'd go. I really don't want you to see this. I'm not gonna leave you. Chloe. I don't deserve you. I never did. But I, I, I deserve whatever, whatever they do to me. I'll take over now. I know you have a lot to say to me. But not right now. Right now, I want you to do the talking. Tell me how my son died. Cassie, stay sweet. away. No, honey. Stay away. Bring your feet back, sweetheart. It's okay. We're here. We found you. Everything's gonna be all right now. Okay? And it's a miracle. Look, you can walk, sweetie. That's what Barbara said. Sweetheart, it's okay. Look at me, Cassie. Baby, it's all right. Now come back in here right now, all right? Come, come back in here to me, and everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna put the, the past behind us where it belongs to start over, okay? It's just one more step, Kevin. I know, no! Hey, no, Cassie, it's Andrew. Andrew, Andrew Cassie, think, think, think about the people who love you now, okay? Think about them. Please let us help you, baby. You stay away, Kevin. You stay there. Darling, I can't stay away. I love you. Breathe my hand. You need to start to think about what we can give this baby instead of what we can't. Like what? I mean, let's face it. We both come from privileged families, you know? There isn't anything that this baby would be lacking. Right, anything material. No, not just material. I mean, uh, emotionally also. 
I mean, I mean, no matter what my parents were going through, they were always there for me. Yours too, right? Right, in their own way, but... No, just, I've already talked to my mom and dad about this. So they're in favor of me keeping this baby? With my help. A lot of help. No, they're not in favor, Jess, you know? I mean, they realize what a big deal it is, but they also know that it's their grandchild, and there's no way they're just gonna not welcome it into their family. So, right, but I'm the primary caregiver here. Yeah, well, I can help you with that, 50-50. More, more if you want. So what do you say? We just toss the baby back and forth between here and Landfair? Look, I don't know, you know? We'll figure all that out later, but the most important thing is love, and we can give the baby that. Will, a baby needs a lot more than love. It needs to be taken care of. So you can do that? Maybe I, I... don't want to. Maybe I don't want to. I, I still want to be a kid. I want to sleep in late and go to parties. Just come and... on. You never even did that before. Why would you want to now? Well, you did. According to you, you said all you did was party. Yeah, well, maybe I've had enough. Well, maybe I haven't. No, nah, I'm not buying it, Jess. Well, you're going to chuck away our baby just so you can have a more adequate social life? No. No, I want... I don't know what I want. I don't know. See, that's why I want a chance to figure it out. And I don't know if this is being selfish or the opposite, but I know it's right. No, not to me. Look, I was, you know, the party kind of guy on, on the college track to, to the law school after that. But I never committed to anybody or anything. But to this baby, I am. You know, and, and I can't explain it. It's made me feel things that, that I've never felt before. Like, all of a sudden, I have a purpose in life. Well, this isn't about your sense of purpose in life, Will. If you're really committed to this baby, then you'll think about it, and you'll give it to parents who want it, who truly want a baby. Okay, thank you very much. I'll take this one. I'm on the diet. Very funny, Sam. <laughs> well, Happy New Year. And tell Will Happy New Year, too. Well, I, I, I will. Thank you. I was under the impression that the two of you broke up. I'm still his friend, I hope. I want him to know that. I'm, I'm sure that he, he does. I miss him a lot. I'm, I'm sure that he misses you, too. I, I, you know... Uh, Will is doing what he has to do right now. I know. Which is going to be taking up all of his time in the foreseeable future. I will uh, be glad to convey your hello. Thanks. Well, enjoy the pie. That girl is enough to make me lose my appetite. Why did you encourage her? I didn't encourage her. But she seems to, to really genuinely miss Will, and he seems to miss her, and right about now, he could use a friend. Oh, well, that's the last thing that she would be. I'm just glad the infatuation is over. That's all it was, you know. Well, maybe. Unless you make it in more by trying to pull them apart. Oh, excuse me. You're the one fanning the embers here. What? Lindsay, come all on. Right. But... All right. I said I wasn't going to do this, right? I'm done. You know, you are really confusing to me. I mean, on one hand, you say you care about this family, and on the other hand, you do things like, like that, like, like, like blackmail me into handling your divorce. I mean, I, was that giving me the hatchet really a peace overture or not? You mean, am I willing to forget that Nora is trying to pass off your baby as Bo's? You know, it's funny, isn't it? We all fought so hard not to be considered just mothers. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And when you come right down to it, of all the jobs that I have done, mothering is the one that I've loved the most, and my mom identity is the one I cherish the absolutely, most. Absolutely, absolutely. And it also happens to be the hardest job I've ever done. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Nora, you know what I keep wondering? <laughs> I keep wondering what the baby's going to look like. I mean, 
Is it gonna look like Jesse or, or Will or Clint's side of the family, my side of the family? Mm -hmm. Might even end up looking like Sam Rappaport. That wouldn't be so bad, would it? You're awfully silent. You think I've totally lost my sanity? No. I wasn't questioning your sanity at all. I mean, is it terribly selfish of me to want to experience the wonderful richness of having a child around when it came to my daughter in such a difficult way? Vicki, Jessica is so blessed to have you as her child's grandmother. That's not selfish. It's generous. <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with deriving some satisfaction from your generosity. You have my permission. <laughs> Even though you don't need it. I'm glad I told you all these things. I've been keeping everything such a secret for fear of influencing Jesse's decision. And I don't like keeping secrets. No. But sometimes you have to keep them. Just to keep the people you love safe. Sweetheart, you can put your hand in mine now. No. Come on. No, you stay away from me, Kevin. Yes. No. Castle, it's Andrew. You stay away, Andrew. I'm not coming anywhere near you. I'm not coming anywhere near you, all right? Because all I want to do is talk to you. No. You know what? I'm going to make you promise here that I'm not even going to come close. I'm just going to talk, OK? Where's Kevin? Kevin's around. He's all right. It's OK. Here I am, look at me. You tell him to stay away from me. I don't want him here. If he comes near me, Andrew, I swear I'll jump. He loves you, no, he doesn't love me. He pities me, Andrew. Nobody can love me right now. It's not true. No, you don't know what's inside of me. It's all black and cold and it's filled with anger. And the only way I can get rid of it is if I let go. Piece together a lot of what happened the last few hours that uh, my son was alive, but not all of it. I'd like you to fill me in. Barbara, I want you to remember whatever you say. I can't change what I know about you. Oh, yeah. All you ever saw was the good in me. <laughs> When you came and asked me to go back, that faith that you had in me, it almost stopped me. But I just, I just had so much anger and so much rage against Kevin. I was stronger. And I think Drew knew that. I think he knew for a while. must have left the gallery and, and gone straight for the docks, straight for me. And he found me exactly where he knew I would be, pointing the gun at Kevin. And then, I don't know, everything all of a sudden just went into this, like, this slow motion. And, uh, and he turned. And he just, he looked at me, looked straight at me, and that, that look, that look and said it all. <laughs> his knowing, his, his goodness, his caring, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I already pulled the trigger. <laughs> think that being older and wiser would be an advantage, wouldn't you? One would think. Mm. Mm. Well, one of the few things that I've become wiser about is how fragile life is. Babies are in such danger from the moment of conception. Have you ever heard of uh, Gaucher's disease? Yes. It's inherited, right? Yes. It's um, very debilitating and often fatal. 
rare and carried on a recessive gene. Unfortunately, I have that gene. Oh. Well, what about Bo? Does he? He's been tested, but we don't have the results yet. Oh. Well, Rachel doesn't have it, does she? No. So, chances are that this baby wouldn't have it either. It's true. I'm just so aware now of everything that can go wrong. Nora, you have to focus on how lucky you and Bo are right now because you really, really want this baby. Hello. Uh, Christian and Roseanne stopped by. Roseanne asked if you would give this to Will for her. And Christian left this for you. Oh, um, thank you. I'll open it later. Okay. You were uh, left here as if you had something big on your mind. Yeah. I thought I, I thought I'd figured it out. I mean, you helped me because you seemed so strong. I mean, I sure I was sure I was doing the right thing, but as soon as I saw Will, I got confused again. Mom, I told Will that I was going to get the baby up for adoption. Well, that must have been a, a very difficult decision. Am I doing the right thing? I can't answer it for you, Jesse. I'll tell you that it was brave, and uh, I'm sure it painful decision. Oh, no, it just seems like I'm being so selfish. Oh, no. No. No, you are definitely not being selfish. To give up a child that you've carried within you for nine months because you want that child to have the best possible life, no, that's noble and extremely unselfish. But I was thinking about me, too. But, darling, you have to think about yourself. Someday, I'll be as good a mother as you are, Mom. But right now, I know I, I know I wouldn't be. And that's what I want for my baby, a good life, a good home, and parents that want it more than anything. Like you and Dad must have wanted me. Oh, my, yes. That's exactly how much we wanted you. See, I can tell because all my life, I felt surrounded by love. Someday there'll be rafts of grandchildren running around this house. Of course there will. Hey. I have to count my blessings, and I mean that. I have two fine sons. I have a grandson. I know he lives in Texas, and I don't see him much, but I have him. And I have a daughter that I am extraordinarily proud of. Hey, on the side, I publish a newspaper. Yes, setting very high standards for all the rest of the women in the world. Not bad. Not bad at all. Still, I mean, a little uh, granddaughter or grandson would have been lovely. Mm. <laughs> well, for sure, some things never change. You can disappear a piece of pecan pie faster than any human I ever met. You got a problem with that? No. You haven't answered my question. Which is what? Are you willing to forget about what Nora did for Bo? Yes, I'm willing to forget. I mean, after all, you are representing me in my divorce, and we're having a very good time here. So I am willing to keep your little secret, and it is the holiday season. Well, what about after, like, in the new year? It appears that you and I are going to be sharing a Child, so I would hope that we're going to have more happy occasions like this. 
Okay. Uh, may I walk you to your car? No, that's okay. I'm a big girl now. I can walk myself to my own car. But I will see you tomorrow so that we can talk about divorce strategy. No, don't worry about that. It's all under control. Good. So I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. cover story. I have a gift for you, but um, I left it over at Jessica's house for her to bring over. You were at Jessica's? She was gone, but I figured she'd see you before I did. Then I saw your folks at the diner, and I thought, I don't care. I'm going to say what I want to say to them. Yeah, well, it's uh, kind of a bad time right now. Well, I can't wait for a good one. I know you tried to break up with me. And I know why. But I also know that you care for me. Yeah, that wasn't the problem. But it was for me. Because I didn't understand how you could care for me that much. And then hurt me. I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay, or anyone. It's just everything is so out of control now. Including me? Is that what you think? Because I'm giving up what little pride I have left to come here and tell you this. Yeah? I'm not used to guys like you. I'm used to guys who act like they care when all they want is for you to put out. But this time, for a change, I picked the nice guy. The guy's so nice that he didn't want to stick me with all of his problems. And I know that now. So, what I'm trying to say is that I've thought about it and I'm willing. I'd rather have you with Jessica and the baby and all that than to not have you at all. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter anymore anyway. Well, it does to me. Uh, Jessica's giving up the baby. She's gonna let somebody adopt it. Wow. I never thought that would happen. No, well, it shouldn't happen. It's, it's not right. When did she decide? Uh, today, I guess. I mean, at least that's when she decided to tell me. Tell me, not ask my opinion. I'm, I'm the father, but I guess I don't get a vote. It's gotta be so hard. It's not right. Well, maybe this is what's best for the baby. This way, it will have parents who love it. Well, who says I don't love it? Hey, I'm on your side. But think about it. You love this baby. Don't you want what's best for it? Isn't that finding it a really good, happy home? All I know is I want to be a part of this baby's life. And Jessica going out and up and deciding this without me, I can't go along with that. I did it again, didn't I? Asked you out for coffee and talk shop the whole time. If you didn't do it, I probably would. Why is that? I guess it's safe. You know, it seems to me that we'd have a lot more to discuss than that. Well, I'm telling you, if Barbara Graham and her father try to dodge this rap, I'm going to go after them like you wouldn't. <laughs> I did it again, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. What was your friend? I like the way you care. Yeah, well, now maybe that we have the killer of 
Maybe I can get out of the office and have a life. How about yourself? What was the question? <laughs> can you be more specific? I'm asking you out. What do you say? New Year's resolution. You and I get to know each other. You're on. You know, there's this big bash at the club that's coming up, and, um, well, that is if you haven't signed up to work. If I have, I'll change my schedule. You've got a date. Test results? I called the lab, but they're they're really backed up because of the holidays. Oh, swell. It's it's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, of course. Nora, is there anything at all I can do? You said it before. Just keep staying away. I came for my order. Be right with you. Thank you. Hey, you. Hi. I thought you'd be down at the station with Bo. I, um, I heard about Barbara. Yeah, well, I took a little break. Well, you're entitled. Yeah. Listen, Nora, you can tell me to get lost, but I keep seeing it, the way you and Sam are together. Really? How is that? Because this is the second time you brought it up. Hank, what, 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 what seems to be bothering you? And what do you think is going on? Do you think we're sleeping together or something? Look, Nora, I, I just wondered if there was something so heavy on your mind that you, you couldn't discuss it with Bo. Look, I just felt bad for you. I'm on my way to see Bo now. And I'm fine. and pull the trigger. You knew you were shooting my son. No, no, I, I didn't. It, it, it all happened at the same time. I, I mean, I was pulling the trigger, and, and he was there. And it was, it was eerie, almost. It was like he knew. He knew what? He knew that he was gonna die. But he was never afraid. He, even, up, even up to that last second, there was never any fear in his eyes. Look, I know I'm going to prison. I know I am probably for the rest of my life. I swear I wish I could change everything. Everything. I'll never be able to forgive myself. <laughs> I can't forgive or forget. You took my son's life, but at least you gave me back the last few moments of his life, so I guess I can thank you for that. Lock her up. disrespect Uncle Bo, especially for Drew's memory. But her father is a spineless monster. Her mom's dead. I'm the only person she has. So I have to... I have to do everything I can for her. Do what you have to do, Joy. I will, too.
don't come any closer. Just reach, reach your hand out and grab mine. Come back to me. No. Come back to the life that we share together. Grab my hand. No, it was just a dream, Kevin. No, no, that life wasn't a dream. That was real. Don't you remember? Baby, us staying in bed and whispering to each other and laughing because we were so happy to be together. And, and don't remember we talked and said we'd only have half the troubles now because we, we could share them. We were fools, Kevin. And we were fools for each other, maybe. But you promised me that we were going to have a life together. And I need that. I, I need to keep discovering you, sweetheart. No, no. I know too much about myself. No, no. I, I don't ever want to stop learning about you. You got to let me keep doing that, baby, okay? No, that woman is gone, Kevin. <laughs> that woman is right here in front of me. I'm looking at you. No, she disappeared. She disappeared with the feelings in her legs. I have a confession to make. I like wearing a white hat, being a good guy. But just once, I like to wear the black hat. Just try it on for size, see how it fits. Because you never know what the future holds. Hey now, sweetheart, you're right here in front of me. You're right here. Come on. No, oh, I'm only a shell. Kevin, the real me, disappeared in every way but one. It's just time for me to finish that job. No, no, no! no. Kevin, you stay back! Andrew, tell him to stay away from back, me. Back, he can't face the truth like can. Please, okay, please. Stay back. Okay. I want to talk to you about a truth. About River's truth. Yeah. Okay? About River. Because his truth is a simple truth. His truth is that he needs you. And that he loves you. That's all it is. Listen to me. Did you know that he was the one who found the pin that you were wearing? He did. You know where he found it? He found it in the manger, which is amazing. It isn't because that's where we found River, didn't we? We found him in a manger. You remember that, don't you? It was Christmas time and it was in the snow. You know, that pin could have dropped anywhere, Cassie, anywhere. But it ended up in the manger where River found it, and that's a sign. Find that River believes in you. That he was meant to find it, honey. And you were meant to live. You were meant to live, Cass. No! No! I got you. Oh, we got you. It's okay. I love you. And I'm never gonna let you go. I got you. No! been selfish. All I wanted to do was think about us being together without the complication. Well, maybe that's the uh, fringe benefits of Jessica's plan. Well, I hope not. Because that's not what I want anymore. I think this is the first time I realized how much this baby means to you. Well, how can she just go do this? Maybe she can't. I mean, don't you have to sign something before they put it up for adoption? Put it up? What, like go stick it on a shelf somewhere? But there has to be a name where it says father on the birth certificate, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's gonna be mine. You can bet on that. Okay, so you must have some rights. What do you mean? What, am I gonna take Jessica to court? No, I, I mean just, like, delay things until you can work on her to change her mind. I've already tried. Well, you have rights to this baby. Jessica can't just give it up to whoever she wants to. You ought to have a say in it. It'd be hard, I know. But at least you'd be involved with choosing who brings it up. Now, you, you are really something else. I am? 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you got me seeing straight again. You're right. I do have rights. Oh well, yeah. yeah. This is you are exactly what I needed right now. I mean, I don't even see why I didn't see before. I have a say of who adopts this baby, right? And I say that's gonna be me. 